Agora vai. Deixa eu ver. Oi. Vamos já lá um wake, velho. Que tá osso esse Dead by Daylight. Groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Já é, fi. Deixa eu dar uma ajeitada aqui. Beleza, vamos embora. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? É, yeah. bom, né? I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. Tá, mas deixa eu passar aí agora, senão eu vou te dar outro soco aí pra quebrar ainda mais seu nariz, velho. Tô bolado com o tio já. Não gosto de ver assim muito, não. Why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. This way, Alan. É isso aí, eu queria entrar na, nesse quarto aqui, velho. Sempre bom dar aquela, aquela explorada básica. Tá me olhando feio assim por quê? Só que o cara mesmo não solta. Tá. Deixa eu ver o que temos aqui. Nossa, velho, que susto. Ih, é o OVNI. É não, é ET mesmo. Bizarro, velho. Nunca vi um lugar assim que tem um... Um corredor que vai no nada ali. Quer dizer, já vi, mas... Em comum. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand. Oh, o cara mandou na lata mesmo, velho. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness ah, to I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Oh, tem sentido, Alan. Eu sei que... Fica é, bolado não que tem sentido, velho. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Ah, né? Se tu tá falando, quem sou eu pra falar alguma coisa? Além das sombras do conformismo, um milagre sob a luz aguarda. TZ, Thomas N, né, no caso. Em memória de um bom amigo e poeta. Ele. Aqueles relógios de sol. Estilão antigo. Tá certo. Cara, a visão daqui é bonita, hein? Vou te falar, hein? 
Quer que eu compre esse... Essa mansão aí não? Tava assim, velho. Colocar um, um piscinão aqui, ó. Churrasqueira ali, pô, dava pra brincar aqui, velho. É mesmo, tipo assim, o pessoal da... Das, das notícias, tipo, estão falando dos tempos totalmente diferentes. A maneira do subir na escada, hein, velho? Sobe no vento. E, e. Tá maluco? Ih, doidaça. Maluco, fi. Tá, tá. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Got you Emerson. good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so é, you can be scared. Aí, But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Ok, ok, sorry, sorry, sorry. Eww. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Oh, It's yeah. trash, of course, ah, but he doesn't um, have a small creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Me feliz, hein? Que bom, velho. Ainda bem que você tá feliz. E o outro aqui é pintor. Eu, hein? Tá maluco. Que? Meu retrato tá maluco, velho. Me desculpa te falar, é mais. Tu pinta mal, mano. Na moral mesmo. Tá maluco? Você pintou aquela sombra lá, mano. The typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Vamos ler. Bem-vindo à clínica de Cauldron Lake. Aqui podemos dar-lhe a ajuda especializada que precisa. Porém, observe o seguinte: peça a seus amigos e familiares para planejarem visitas de modo a não interferirem. Em sua terapia e ou períodos de criatividade. Por favor, respeite a privacidade e o espaço pessoal do resto dos pacientes. Especialmente durante seus processos criativos. Ok. Seja paciente. Nossos pacientes... Nós pacientes têm problemas criativos de longo prazo que não são resolvidos da noite para o dia. Permita-se o tempo necessário. Tenha em mente que receberá voluntariamente um tratamento específico para o seu problema, a terapia de compromisso, e seu método associado, o fluxo. São mais eficazes quando você lhes dá uma forma e os conduz. Se tiver qualquer dúvida, por favor, não hesite em nos perguntar. Pode deixar, amigo. Eu ligo pra cá na hora. Aí, deixa eu ver se tem como vir aqui. Não. Cara, não gostei de você não, cara. Te fala a verdade. E os caras aí? Oh, 
What a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Que isso, mano? Calma. These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Thor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Danny. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing That's I've it. heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Muito obrigado. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula, local ingredients, medicine, clear your head right up. Make sure you remember, like moonbeams on the brain. Guys, eu vou ter que dar uma parada na live aqui. Mais tarde eu vou, eu vou voltar. É, tem que sair aqui porque ocorreu um imprevisto. Mas enfim, eu vou provavelmente à tarde mesmo voltar a fazer e aí eu vou fazer uma uma live. Bacana, com um tempo maneiro. E espero que vocês estejam aí para assistir comigo, ok? Muito obrigado aí quem assistiu, quem seguiu aí. Valeu, abraço para vocês e tamo junto. E valeu!